the man with the yellow hat and George visited Professor Wiseman. Hi, guys. This is the final draft of my new book. Would you proofread it and check to make sure everything's spelled right? Sure, no problem. What's this one about? Numbers. Huh? It's called, Is Seven Necessary? Now there's something I never even thought about. That's why you're the genius. Take care of it. That's my good copy. I'll take care of it like it was my own monkey. You've been playing for two days nonstop. When's it my turn? You want me to give up going for the record just because my little sister wants her turn? Um, yes. Hi there, Betsy, Steve, Sharky. Hi. What's that? Oh, this is Professor Wiseman's new book about number sequences and logic. Ha, huh. Betsy's too young to understand those words. I'm not. Then what do they mean? Um, well, I'll know after I read the book. Whoa! <laughs> Sharky wants to keep walking. <laughs> See ya! Oh, everything looks so good. Best crop all year. Don't miss out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Slow down, uh -huh. George. Let's put them in a bag. George, hold on. Wait for me. <laughs> he can't wait to get home and eat that great fruit. Smart monkey. Fast, too. You better hurry. Uh, slow down. I I'll bruise my melon. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> now I'm going to sit back and read Professor Wiseman's book. Wait a minute, where's the book? Well, where could it be? I, I had it in my hand the whole time. Uh, oh! <laughs> you know, you're right, George. I put it down to bag fruit. Let's go. Uh, oh. are, are you sure I put it down here? Uh, excuse me, did you see a package about this big on the ground? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I'd have lost this package, Professor Wiseman would be so disappointed. I didn't even know I had it. Sharp-eyed monkey. George was glad to help, especially when he got a plum reward. The man went home. But George chose to stay out, in case he could do more good and get more rewards. Ooh. That friendly woman forgot a package. Here was his chance to earn rewards. <laughs> George sure picked the right person to help. She left another package behind. <laughs> Hunley didn't know what George was doing, but if he was leaving, whatever it was wouldn't be happening here this time. George was starting to think how lucky she was to have someone with the brain of a monkey to help. Because, boy, was she forgetful. Being a dog, Hunley had tasted a lot of tennis balls. But these were the first that ever tasted like... ink? These were the valuable balls the doorman promised to protect. <laughs> 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 
Hunley couldn't stop George from opening boxes that he thought belonged to him. But he knew how to play defense. It was tough for George to guess who sent all this stuff to him. There's a monkey and a wiener dog at the door. <gasps> Those careless delivery guys. If any of my balls aren't properly packed, I'm going to be very upset. Now George understood. These boxes belonged here, and the delivery man gave them to George by mistake. I'll be down to check every last one as soon as I'm off the phone. They had to clean up before the ball collector came downstairs. All they had to do was put the balls back into the right boxes. How hard could that be? Sometimes things don't fit when they look like they should. Or they fit in more than one place. <laughs> but there's only one place they really belong. And once you figure that out, it's easy. Even if you're a monkey. Hunley showed George how to lay them flat. <laughs> they did it. All the balls were back where they started. Kind of. Like they're all here. Oh, even the priceless Andy Turkey Rolly perfect score bowling ball. <sighs> I'm back. Huh? Is everything okay? My delivery came. Your dog and monkey took care of everything. That's great. Thank you, Hundley. Thank you, George. It's nice to know Hundley has help keeping the place clean and organized. George, would you like to help Hundley again tomorrow morning? You can be my official door monkey. I won't be here, and tomorrow is water delivery day. <laughs> oh. Hi, guys. Oh, you're looking good, George. Well, at least the right half of you is. <laughs> I guess someone's due for half a bath. I wish, but George won't take a bath anymore. I don't get it. 
And maybe George feels he's getting too old for a bath. Of course, that's it. My little monkey is growing up. <laughs> now I know exactly what to do. Come on, George, we're going in. Oh, thanks, Professor Wiseman. You're a genius. Well, yeah. I understand your problem with baths now, George. <laughs> and I agree, it's time for you to start taking showers. <laughs> Turn on the water, George, and see what happens. Oh. George. George. Okay. Won't take baths, won't take showers. I need to take a walk and not think about any problems for a while. But sometimes, not thinking about something is harder than you think. Bubbles. Maybe, somehow, Springy was nearby. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. Hi, Steve. Hello. Betsy made pretty good bubbles, but she was no plastic frog. Hey, George, we're washing dogs to make money. Want to help? Uh-huh. Yeah, George, why don't you help? There's soap and water and bubbles and soap. <laughs> Great. George can help me make bubbles to attract dirty customers. George figured the triangle bubble maker was broken. But a square bubble would be just as good. They fooled me the first time I tried them, too. It doesn't matter what shape bubble maker you use, they'll always turn out round. All this bubble making made George miss Springy even more. Sharky, you're more mud than dog. Hey, George, would you help me? Could you wash Sharky's ball? Don't be shy about getting some of that clean water on yourself. <laughs> of course. The park. The mud. Sharky. <laughs> no, oh no, 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 you're getting dirtier. George, slow down. I... Okay, I'll meet you back home. Oh. Wow. You beat me home. Uh, why were we racing? George, you're taking a bath? Okay then, enjoy. I, um, wow. I wonder what that was all about. A bath just wouldn't be a bath without bubbles and sprungy. There you are, Charky. I've been looking for you all morning. Hi, George. Oh, is this your lemonade stand? Are you making much money? You have to charge money, George. Now George realized what the man with the yellow hat meant. He earned money and bought a ball. Hmm. <laughs> but if George was having trouble giving it away, 
How can you get people to pay for it? Hey, did you hear? An iced tea truck sprung a leak at the zoo, and the elephants drank it all. I heard it was on its way to the construction site. Now those poor workers have nothing to drink. You know, they must be the hottest, thirstiest people in town. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, it's hot. Get your lemonade fresh from the monkey. <laughs> lemonade? Ugh. Lemonade? Well, thank heaven for monkeys. <laughs> Thanks, monkey. Wow, business is great here. Okay, next four, get your lemonade. This is really good. Thanks, George. Oh, I guess this is some lemonade. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> we need to sell the rest of the lemonade to buy a soccer ball, and there's no one left in line. Excuse me, is that lemonade for sale? <laughs> hey, there's some more lemonade. Come on, guys. <laughs> Four more thirsty customers. George only had two more glasses of lemonade. <laughs> Four more, please, George. The monkey's out of lemonade. Where else can we go? <laughs> George remembered how to turn two cups of lemonade into four. Ah! Good job, George. Half the size for half the price. Thanks, George. <sighs> oh, that was one thing. Goodness. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's everything I hoped it would be. Mmm, the monkey really makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we made a lot of money today, George. We sold every last drop of your lemonade. But it wasn't George's lemonade. Oh. I am really looking forward to coming home and having ice-cold lemonade. <laughs> he had to replace it before the thirsty man with the yellow hat came home. <laughs> George, where did all the lemonade go? Did you take our lemonade out for a walk? <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, I noticed our soccer ball was flat, so I got a new one. <laughs> it worked. George ran a lemonade stand and got a soccer ball and the man with the yellow hat learned how to make lemonade come out of George's nose.